Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. Today we're going to do our first anatomy session and the lesson will look at the whole skeleton of the body in general with some general ideas presented so you have a better idea how people who study the human body talk about it and think about it. So today with our model here, who we'll call Boney, um, we're going to actually talk about two aspects of the human body and that is that the skeleton is divided into two broad categories the axial skeleton, which is the center line structures of the body, and the appendicular skeleton, which are the appendages, the arms and legs, but not just the arms and the legs, but also several bones that are attached to them. So let's start with the axial skeleton. The word axis, like the axis on a drawing, is exactly what we're looking at. We're looking at the spinal column, down through the sacrum bone, and all the way to the tailbone, as well as the skull. And because they attach directly to the spine, the rib cage from the back to the front attaching to the breastbone is also considered part of the axial skeleton. So that makes up the center line structures of the body. And of course, those are very important structures when it comes to the brain located inside the skull and the spinal cord coming down through the spinal column and feeding the whole body with sensory uh, nerves and also with motor nerves as well. The secondary part of the skeleton, just equally as important, is the appendicular portion. So that involves the two wing bones, or pelvic bones, in the pelvic area, as well as the upper leg bones, the kneecap, the shin bones, and all the bones of the ankles and feet in the lower part of the body. And then its similar setup in the upper part of the body is the shoulder blade and the collarbone, or the scapula and the clavicle in the front and back, which are equivalent to the pelvic bones in the pelvic area, and then the upper arm bone, the humerus bone, the forearm bones, the radius and the ulna, and then all the wrist and hand bones on both sides. So again, a whole skeleton is made up of the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton, the arms and legs, as a way of thinking about the entirety of the body. So that's it for our quick little anatomy lesson today. Um, join me for future lessons as we progress through different areas of the body and different ideas related to anatomy, movement and kinesiology, and other aspects of the amazing human body. Until the next time, you can follow me on BaxterBell.com. You can follow me on my blog site, Yoga for Healthy Aging, and look for yoga practices that you can do with me at home on the website, um, yogauonline.com. Look for their practice channel. Until the next time, namaste.